Additional breaking news. This out of Sudan. After 30 years in power, President Omar al-Bashir has been forced out of power by the country's military. The army has dissolved the government and declared a state of emergency. Military sources say it all started before dawn on Thursday morning. Al-Bashir was told by his security chiefs that there was no alternative but to step down and he went quietly. A journalist in the capital Khartoum captured this video reporting that thousands of people were marching toward the military headquarters chanting, he is a coward and he has fallen. Now, this all comes after months of deadly anti-government protests demanding an end to al-Bashir's long rule. We're going to bring you more on this story um, later on the show. But CNN's Nema Abagir, she is joining us now from New York. And Nema, it's happened. After 30 years in power, Bashir has stepped down. Tell us more about what brought about his removal from power. What's truly extraordinary is that the majority of Sudan's population is actually under 30. So this is his generation. This is the generation that grew up under Omar al-Bashir's dictatorship that didn't actually know democracy or freedom of expression or freedom of movement. And yet this is the generation that has brought about its, his downfall. Most of the people out there demonstrating, you can see the pictures there on the monitor, we're showing them to you, were very young. These were university students, but they were also incredibly, incredibly committed. They stared down um, live ammunition. They stared down tear gas canisters. We were able to get in a few weeks ago and show that they stared down an infrastructure of oppression and torture. The question is for them, what now? Well, the self-proclaimed Military Transition Council has said that there's going to be a two-year transition. And already many of those that we're speaking to on the ground say, this is not what we protested for. They want a civilian transition. They want civilian rule, Christy. And the Sudan Professionals Association, which was the association that organized and led many of these protests, is calling on many of those on the streets to stay on the streets because they know that now is when they have the most leverage. But what is so absolutely extraordinary is that as we understand it, it was among those closest to Omar al-Bashir, his defense minister, his security chief, the head of the rapid support forces, they were the ones who went and finally told him at around 3.30 this morning, Christy, it's time, Mr. President, to step down. And, and Emma, tell us about the man who has fallen from power, you know, after decades of strongman rule of Sudan, Omar al-Bashir. He has ruled for three decades. He is wanted on war crimes. Remind us why. There's, there's an incredible contradiction at the heart of this, which is that this is an indicted war criminal. This is a man who had indicted war criminals in his cabinet. The head of the ruling party is an indicted war criminal. The former interior minister is an indicted war criminal. He's wanted on, account, on counts of crimes against humanity and war crimes. And he's accused of using, of utilizing rape as a weapon of war in the Darfur conflict. He's accused of sparking regional atrocities. And yet this is also the man that the European Union Union gave hundreds of millions of dollars to to help stem the flow of illegal migration through Sudan. This is also the man that in November the FBI reached a counter-terror cooperation agreement with. This is someone that the West had actually found an accommodation with and had found to be very useful. He was very useful in combating the presence of uh, ISIS militants moving through the Middle East into Africa. He was very useful to an extent that it served him in rooting out some elements of al-Qaeda. So it's extraordinary that just as he was deemed to be tolerable by many Western mm -hmm. powers, in spite of being an indicted war criminal, that this is the point at which it finally tipped for his people. Mm. And this man has been ousted after 30 years in power. Nema Abagar reporting live for us. Thank you. You're watching Newsstream. We'll be back right after this. <laughs>